We open the first half with the Sun, Josh, rather unusually. They have news, I say unusually, as in we don't mm. normally ad address their uh, content at all, uh, who have news that will offer a tiny counterbalance to the general drift of the last few months. Indeed. Well, yeah. in, in, well actually, yeah, the Sun has written an article. Mm. It's incredible. Uh, Islamist group Hiz Ut Tahrir will be banned in Britain under terror laws, James cleverly announces. So they're an Islamist extreme, extremist group. There was footage, some people might have seen it online, of them at the uh, pro-Palestinian marches, and they were basically going jihad, jihad, and then that's when the Met police put out a statement saying, no, 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 <laughs> right. jihad's got a bunch of meanings. It means struggle, even yeah. though banner behind him said, yeah. Muslim armies yeah. unite kind of or whatever. Jihad. So now this is a sort of, uh, this is James cleverly trying to step up pathetically, in my, to my mind, uh, or throw a, a bone to the people who actually like this country and have been kind of shocked by some of the things that they've seen over the last few months of people mm. marching. And uh, look, of course, they should be banned. They, they're an anti-Semitic uh, hate group. They're jihadists. They are not uh, fans of the West. And they, but uh, it's like too little, too late. And the main thing about it is, of course, is you can make something into a law and it would prescribe they would prescribe it that means that anybody who shows support for it would like could go to jail for 14 years and whatnot mm. but are the police are the met police specifically going to take any action mm. and that's what we saw we saw this insane clip on the weekend about the guy calling uh, for genocide or whatever saying normalized yeah, massacres normalized massacres and Again, they go, oh, yeah, we're going to have a word with him. And even here they speak to the... They spoke... They said, oh, we've spoken to the guy who said jihad, jihad, and we said <laughs> we're going to... We discourage any repeat of similar chanting. No, arrest them. Show people that you actually mean business here. Mm. So the Home Office here effectively has contradicted the Met statement when they said, you know, jihad has different meanings. Yeah. And to, to be fair, yes, jihad does have different meanings, and originally it does mean struggle. In Iran, they have the Ministry of Agricultural Jihad, where they struggle against inclement desert soil, you wow. know, to do agriculture. But of mm. course, you, you should have put two and two together and see that kind of jihad yeah. mm. was another kind of jihad, as we know, and that's why the Home Office has, albeit a bit late, move towards banning this group. My, my perhaps slightly naive concern is also that it is quite easy for these things, uh, very much like a coronavirus, to mutate ever so slightly, change their name, same organisation, same aim, same... Uh, you know, same adherents, same uh, venues, uh, to the police's untrained eye, probably very similar flags and banners and so on. I don't know. I don't know how much... I mean, I take your point, absolutely. Yeah. Obviously, it has to have teeth, and even, even with the best of intention. You're talking about an enormous... It's, that means, you know, without reverting to the obvious clichés, but it's sort of Judean people's front stuff to some extent, isn't it?